With the stay-at-home order in place, a lot of us are feeling isolated, including senior citizens. Thankfully, the community has come up with some ways to keep them connected and entertained. News A's Shannon Handy has more on the special programs taking place at St. Paul Senior Services. Hi, how are you? There's always the phone or the computer to stay connected with loved ones. But St. Paul Senior Services is taking it one step further. Kids and teens are now making artwork, posting videos, even writing letters to their pen pals. Hi, my name is Lauren, and I'm making beautiful pictures for the seniors to help them brighten their day. At just six years old, Lauren is one of several children taking part in a program at St. Paul Senior Services called Sunshine for Seniors. The idea? Create a special connection during a time when so many of them feel alone. There's no question the benefit to it. Activities Director Patrick Miller oversees Sunshine for Seniors, in which seniors are delivered handmade pictures, cards, and craft books, all provided by kids. Something else that's taken off during this pandemic? A pen pal program started by San Diego High School junior Francesca D'Amico. My mom and I heard on the radio that senior citizens were really lonely because they weren't able to do much because of quarantine. Francesca asked her friends to help out. So far, nearly two dozen have volunteered. Here's Francesca's pen pal, Vesta. Recently it was Easter, so I told her what my family and I did over Easter, and she explained what her family did and sent some pictures. While much of the interaction is done via email, for those seniors who are less tech savvy, their responses are handwritten and then sent out electronically. I don't even transpose it. I actually like to just scan it and send it over directly to Francesca to redisperse because I feel like that has um, more of a human touch being able to see their handwritten letters back to them. Patrick says both programs have been very well received. Keep in mind, no visitors are allowed at St. Paul's right now. That's the case at senior centers nationwide where the closest interaction with family is through a window. While St. Paul's staff has been coordinating care packages and FaceTime calls with family members, it's just not the same, but hopefully this makes it more bearable. It feels good to just like help someone else and just make sure that they're doing okay because I even find it hard and I'm home with my family, so I can't imagine how hard it would be if you're just by yourself. If you'd like to take part and make a senior's day, we've put the information on our website. Just go to cbsafe.com and click on the hot button.